zero, zero exaggeration, right? Like, <laughs> zero exaggeration. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. I, yep, I'm, uh, welcome to my interrogation room. Yes, oh yes. my goodness. Hi. Oh, it is on, yes. Welcome to Columbus. Have you have you guys been here to Columbus before? Have you been here to yet? I feel like I probably have. Okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there. I don't know that I have. This might be my first Columbus trip. How are these fine folks of Ohio oh, treating you? Oh, it has been so great. It has been really, honestly, it has been such a great weekend. Everybody is so sweet. It's awesome. It's yes. awesome. And they have this really cool trick here in Ohio. When you say two particular letters, O H. It's love magic. it. It's, so it's, it's it's uh it's magic. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so uh actually I have a question for you all. And again, we can't necessarily see hands so noise. Yeah. How many who all is up to date with all eleven hundred plus episodes? Anybody? Oh, I see you, I see you, I see you. That, that is awesome. That is awesome. I mean that's that's dedication. Uh so um that being said, so we do have a microphone right here for your questions. We'll get to some of those. With those questions, we ask no spoilers for those who are on episode. No spoilers, four. people. No spoilers. <laughs> yeah, but so uh, no spoilers, please. Um, but I mean, it, it's crazy. Like, there's a Pluto TV channel yeah. dedicated to One Piece, so you can watch One Piece on demand or just turn on the television and it is on. That's wild. Uh, Lucy, be, for being there from the beginning, did you? expect that here we would be uh what 20 i don't want to say 25 years later that makes it sound like it's so i know right 25 um, years no i could not have foreseen how this would go i remember very distinctly standing in my bedroom getting the phone call and then them saying toei chose you to be one of the straw hats and i was like which one because i also read for luffy they said, you're Nami, and I was like, whoo, because we knew whoever was going to be Luffy was going to have a Herculean vocal exercise, which is true. It's totally true. Um, but they said, the next thing they said was, um, you're Nami, and you should know this is going to be a commitment. And I thought, what does that mean? <laughs> like, I remember thinking five years would be magical. That sounds great. And, of course, I was like, awesome, I'm committed. I'm a commitment kind of girl, yes. <laughs> and here we are. Um, I think it's been 18 years for us, for our that's, that's incredible. version, our, our dub cast. Yeah, and I mean, I'm sure that the show has, has changed uh, quite a bit, quite a bit. And, and Tia, were you aware of the phenomenon when you, uh, did, now, did you audition? Were you... Yes, Stop. Carrot. Tell us, it's Carrot. It's really funny because my first exposure to One Piece was back when four kids did it. And, um, okay. <laughs> uh, I was up watching Shaman King on Saturday mornings. And One Piece knocked Shaman King out of its time slot. And I remember writing on my live journal, One Piece of crap, <laughs> all over my live journal, talking all this smack, um, which... Which I had to, like, later on, once I started with Funimation, it's like, oh, I need to remember my life journal. Oh, my gosh. And going and deleting all these posts where I was <laughs> talking about this crap. Um, but when I, I had a very good friend that's very into One Piece, and she showed me Carrot in the manga when she made her debut, and I fell in love with her immediately. I wanted, I was, I just loved Carrot. And it worked out. I did audition, but it worked out wonderfully, which is a very rare treat in our career. Um, and yeah, I was very, very pleased to to be her. It's uh, and, and both of you, you know, uh, with with Carrot and, and Porsche as well. You've got to bring multiple characters to life. Uh, That's true. What is um, what is that like bringing multiple characters to life in one universe? Oh my gosh! Well, for me. Um, you know, when I got cast as Portia, I was like, oh, that's great. You know, I, I was really excited to be a part of the One Piece world at all at right, that point. Right. That was very early in my career. Um, but Carrot quickly knocked her out of that top spot. Like, it's like, so I don't know. It just, it's a blessing. And One Piece is one of those wonderful shows that 
everybody gets to be in it. And sometimes you get to be multiple people multiple. in it. And I don't know. I've I've touched it in a variety of ways. I've directed a little of it as well. And it is truly a beautiful, magical show that gives work. And I don't know. It's just it's just a lovely, lovely show. It's so good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. now, now, do you, Lucy? Do you watch? Do you do you keep up with it? Yes. Um. I mean, I'm not probably not as caught up as people. Some people in this room, because I don't read all of the manga um but yeah i mean and in the dub we are in egghead so i mean i know that they've what they've released is behind us i think they they just recently sort of released gear five isn't that right am i right yes we just finished one which i think after we finished one everybody was kind of like okay we're ready to move on to something else like that was awesome but I think that fight was like, how many episodes was Kaido versus Luffy? Like 50 episodes. Like it was a long fight. You know, we were ready. We were ready. And then on a, on a broader scale, do uh, either of you like, like to watch your work or do you try to refrain from watching uh, your work because you just end up critiquing everything? I don't, I don't do it anymore. Um, I mean, it used to be really weird to listen to my voice, but I guess that's what... X amount of years doing this will get you. But I'm watching it with my kids. And um, we are, we're not quite um, to Skypea, but um, it's humbling and funny because seeing it through their eyes, because I mean, from the beginning, they were like, Nami is such a bad friend. Oh. She's awful. <laughs> and you know, you're like, well, you're not wrong. I mean, she, yeah, but she's got reasons. And then when we got to Arlong, I'm watching it all play out. I know what's coming. And sure enough, Nami is in the street, and she's raising that dagger. And my kids are both like, no, no, no. And I'm like, welcome. <laughs> welcome to <laughs> loving me. <laughs> they are a tough crowd. Um, do, was I offended with what? When they said no. Um, in fact, I think that means I did my job. I Look, I'm going to tell you all now. I'm going to spoil this for you. I think the trick of the series and why, like, the Arlong arc is the hook of the series is none of us deserve Luffy's faith. Oh, none of us. Right? Nami for sure doesn't deserve to be bailed out with Arlong. She has been a rotten friend. She left them at the Baradier and took the ship and... She's done all manner of things to try to run them off. And when she finally has nothing and asks for help, Luffy does not even waver, offering her grace that she doesn't merit. She doesn't deserve it. Um, and he does that for all of them. He believes in them before they can believe in themselves. And it's the hook, right? It's the hook of the whole show. It's that magic right there. So if they didn't like me, I don't think you're supposed to like her at the beginning. I don't know that she cares if you don't, if you like her. <laughs> Which I love about Nami, you know. She's strong. She's confident. Uh, so as I said, we, we, have a, we do have our mic, so if you want to start lighting up. And while folks are starting to light up, I'm going to ask you this. Uh, and what is it about uh, One Piece that uh, you think, well, not only brings the, the, the fans to these shows like this, but when they come and they talk to you about what this show means to them, when you see all these great carrot cosplays, uh, you know, with, with the ears. Uh, what does that mean to you when you get to interact with with your fans who may have gone through some rough times? This show uh, helped them. You don't get to see, you know, it's not like theater where you don't get the immediate applause. You have to wait sometimes a very long time to get that. But what, is that, what does uh, shows like this mean, mean to you? I think it's just such a wonderful, that's why cons are so great. Um, of course it means the world to me. Um, it's just so, I'm more excited for you guys that you find something that brings you such joy and such peace. I have my own things that I'm obsessed with, that I connect with, and it's a very safe place for me and always has been my entire life. So meeting and enjoying together is always wonderful, but I'm more excited for you and the things that you enjoy and experience. That's that's the fun part for me, is seeing all the love. Oh, it's Sunday. 
<laughs> Yay, I'm feeling emotional now. Um, yeah, I think specifically, uh, especially for a show like One Piece that has such a long history, um, there are people that have been following the show for 26 years. And um, people who have joined us in the last couple of months because they saw the live action on Netflix. And it is all valid, right? What a wonderful fandom. It's an incredible story. Oda is a genius. I think we know that. Um, it's so much when I see people who are re-watching 1,200 episodes, you know, because it's so much fun to find Easter eggs now that you know, right? And you go back and you're like, oh my gosh, how did he, how did he do that? Um, and we, we have the honor of getting to be a part of this journey, you know, and that is it. It's so much fun. So much fun. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is John Leone. Hi, John. Hello. What is your Hi. question? Hey, um, well, um, first of all, um, um, am I able to, to record? Yes. Thank you. All right. Um, sorry. <laughs> I forget. We're gonna... <laughs> right. <laughs> what is your question? Um, so I am an aspiring voice actor out of the state of Michigan. And, um, you, you know, I've been taking classes. You know, the first class I took was with um, Lisa Jesswin as my teacher. And, you know, the class I'm taking now is, you know, with Danny Jacobs. He did, you know, King Julian from the Penguins of Madagascar. You know, he's, you know, he's, like, really, really, they're both really good at what they do. Yes. Um. So as an aspiring voice actor, you know, I feel like it's important to ask him, um, what is the best piece of advice you could give to somebody who is looking to get into voiceover and re looking to really break into the industry? You know, like basically, like, like you know, with anime dubbing, cartoons, you know, commercials, and video games. Well, I remember you from the My Hero panel, and I already put my answer in. <laughs> yeah, I know. So I'm trying to think of a different one. Same, same. Yeah, I know. Um, Sorry about that. Just, well, it's important to, re to remember that no two paths are going to be correct, right? That is yes. absolutely true. Yes. That is, I think I said that in the first panel, but I'll, I'll say that again, because that is for everybody, no matter what you do. Right. You run your own race. Like, you do what you do. Um, none of us have the same story. Um, and there's a lot of people you can compare yourself to. Um, me, Tia, the whole entire internet. Um, but I don't know that that's really helpful. You, everybody has your own skill and your own thing that you bring to the table. And working on that and focusing on how you get work and what works for you is, that's your life's work, right? It's not comparing it to whatever anybody else is doing. Right. Absolutely. I absolutely agree with her. Um, springboarding off of my answers, uh, Two days ago? Yesterday? What is time? <laughs> um, I just want to emphasize again, don't forget that it's supposed to be fun. It's yeah. something that you enjoy. It's very easy to get bogged down um, with the things you want so bad. Yeah. And you're, they're not quite within your reach just yet. Or even when they are in your reach, so much is out of your control. So don't forget that this is a fun, joyful yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sorry for asking the same question. It's okay, time. best of luck um, to you. Would, would it be like if I want to get into like anime dubbing, like like anime dubbing specifically, and like video, like, mostly anime dubbing? <laughs> um, like would I have like do I have to move to you know like L L A or Texas? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. That's Do valid. That's a that's you know with uh that's no? that's what I should have asked in the first right. place. I'm sorry about right. that. Right, and, and perhaps. Prior to 2020, maybe the answer is yes, you do have to move to some of these places. But we've learned since uh, since 2020 that maybe you don't have to live where the studios are. Is that correct? I would say yes and no. Right. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> for instance, um, so right now we're, fi we're dubbing the new fairy tale season. Mm -hmm. And it's based out of Texas. And I'm in L.A. right now. And they're renting a studio for me, and I'm recording in L.A. But remember, 
I was part of that cast already. I know all of these people. When you're trying to get into the industry and you're meeting people for the first time and making connections, human to human networking, you have to be there in person. Otherwise, they don't get to know you or what you can do. So it is important to be where the work is, especially when you're trying to establish yourself. I do think it is harder to break in when you are, you know, there, there's definitely some work that is legit remote. There's a whole internet full of different kinds of work where people are collaborating online. And that is one thing. Um, but uh, studios, we're not in a pandemic anymore. And so I don't think studios are as open to taking a chance on new people that they've never met over the internet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Good answer. All right, thank you for that question. Thank you so much. Good question. Hello. Hi. Hi. Step on up. There you go. Yeah, so we can see like the one person here. But <laughs> we can see whoever is at the mic. Yeah, it's a hard glass. Hello. Um, I had a two part question. Um, one, what scene, past or present, were you dreading to record most, and which one were you looking forward to recording most? Oh, I can't tell you mine. It's a spoiler. Ah. I mean, I because we went out of order, I recorded our long arc out of order. So I knew it existed. Um, and I saw the scene before we did it. Because we started in the one, uh, in the Skypea arc is where we started because we took over from the four kids dub. And that's where we were. That's where they were on TV. So we had to pick up there. So we didn't go back and dub from episode one up until a year or two later. So... I knew that the Arlong scene was coming, and I did kind of dread it because I knew it's, you know, the Japanese ex is exceptional, and you want to live up to it. And any of us approach that stuff and go, am I going to do it this time? Can I do it? You know? Um, so that was, but I loved it. I mean, once we did it, it was awesome. Um, I could not wait, though, to do Nami yelling at Kaido That's and all cool. of that. And Thank that you. whole bit, you know what happens. Yelling at Kaido, yelling, it's, it's great. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm Jansen, uh, and I always like to know what's a challenge that you didn't know you'd be facing when you got into voice acting? Oh, that's a good question. That is a good question. Mm. But clearly the names that some of you, uh, that you've had to say over the years, right? <laughs> <laughs> You do kind of get, <laughs> that's a whole deal in of, of itself. True. Japanese names. Oh, um, man. It's such a good question. I need a second. <laughs> challenge. <laughs> you really didn't love know voice you'd questions. be facing. Um, yeah, or, you know, yeah. That's I, a, I mean, it's great. There are great. tons of challenges. It's like, how do you figure Yeah, out? what do you wish that you had known? Yeah. I'm going to say that there's never a moment, like, so when you have this dream, um, you feel like there's a moment where you're going to be like, okay, I did it. And that moment never comes because as soon as one show is over, when is the next one? You know, or you're always auditioning, you're always trying, you're, and then you get excited about what, by what's out there, you know? from anime to video games, from American animation. There's always places you can go. And at the same time, your life is growing as you're becoming an adult. And um, I didn't, I thought there would be a moment where I'd be like, okay, but it's, that has not come for me yet. I still feel new. There's still so much that I'm learning. And it's an incredible feeling, but it's also incredibly frustrating. Yeah. Um, because you can get in your head a lot. It's uncomfortable to be uncomfortable. And I hate not knowing the answers. Right. So <laughs> I don't want to learn anymore. Right. Mm. Right. Um, but yeah, that's my. Cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I will say too that once you've, I mean, I didn't know I'd be in this industry this long. <laughs> right? You're like, you start and you don't, you don't even know. Um, you don't know what, you just are taking jobs. And you, then you, 
wake up one day and you've had a 20-something year career doing this thing that used to be hard to watch and find, and now it's streaming willy-nilly everywhere. So true. Um, you know, my, my kids are discovering Oron. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, but discovering Soul Eater. You know? <laughs> so funny. Um, so part of it is reminding yourself to play and let it be new and have fun, you know, and not get freaked out about, like Tia said, there's so much out of our control. Mm -hmm. And you just have to kind of keep your hands open, right, and receive and be grateful and have as much fun as you can, you know. Absolutely. Hi, um, my name is Abby. This is um, my very first convention I've been to, so it's really cool hey. to see you. Well, welcome. Um, <laughs> I have a question for both of you. I know Carrot joined a little bit later in the One Piece, but I was wondering, what is your favorite arc? Oh my gosh. So I am not up to date on all the One Piece, but I will say any arc that has Sanji featured is my favorite. I love Sanji. <laughs> whole, so whole cake and, and others. So basically all of the whole arcs. <laughs> Whole cake was our pandemic arc. So that is why it is super special. Because we all we did it mostly from home. And it was like this weird lifeline um, to hear all of my friends Aww. in the show. It was so good. It's so good. Um, for for laughs, I really love Thriller Bark. Um, and because we got Brooke. Um, for feels, I'm gonna say Innie's lobby. For the feels, I want to live. Um, anyway. And Wano was just crazy. It was so, like, otherworldly. Well, thank you so much for answering my question. I appreciate it. Yes. Welcome to your first con. Yay. It's so fun. <laughs> Hello. Hi, my name is Brenasia, and I just wanted to ask, what was the most memorable scene that you guys have done? What was your memorable scene? I love it when Carrot gets her, her power up. Yeah, I agree. When she switches to her Sue Long form, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I thought Carrot might be a straw hat for a Man, little bit. Yeah, it's true. Weirdly, I still hold out hope somehow. I mean, but <laughs> you never know. Um. I mean, probably the Arlongs, um, you know, in the street is probably the most, yeah. Pro I think so. I think so. Okay, thank you for having me. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, Hello. Hi. My name is Meredith, and this is my first con. I'm only hey, oh, another. Yeah. I've only made it to about episode 600 of One Piece so far. I love how you said only. Yeah. <laughs> Only about 600. Hey, you are more than halfway done. <laughs> it's true. And this question's for Lucy. Yes. Um, are you friends with the Straw Hats in real life? <laughs> I am. I am. We're, yeah, we're all friends. Um, we're all friends. We've known each other for many years. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Are you besties with Robin like you are in the show? Oh, I love that they are besties, right? Talk about a show that has two strong women that do not compete with each other. Like, they're mm. both awesome. <laughs> um, and, yes, Stephanie Young is an angel. She's awesome. Our families have hung out. Yeah. Hello. Hi, my name is, hi, my name is Brandy, and I wanted to ask, uh, you two – you two voice so many characters when you're trying to focus on just one. Is there something you do to lock in on that person, or do you find it hard to keep them in check and not mix them up? That is a great oh, question. What, great what do you do, Tia? Oh, man. Well, fortunately, when we go in to record, um, most of the time they have a little clip available for us to listen to to remind us, like, oh, this is who you are. This is kind of where they are. Um, I always think like, oh, I don't need it. And then like, oh, I do need it, actually. <laughs> Can you please play it? <laughs> um, so, so yeah, that is super, super helpful. What about you? I use names. I use names. Um, that is how I remember who is who. 
Um, like when I'm going in to record my hero, all I have to do is say, um, hey, Deku. And that's where Ochako lives. She's right up here, Deku. Um, for Nami, it is, of course, Luffy. Like, and it just puts you into the mindset. Don't be an idiot. Like, mm. um, Medusa, it's poor Krona. You know, it's, it's always the name. Honey Senpai is Haru chan. Like, you know. Hello. Hello. My name is Jalen. Um, I don't watch a lot of One Piece, but my nieces do. But I do have a question. Um, out of all of your characters, what is one character that you looked at, you saw the description, you got the role, and you were like, how the heck am I going to do this? <laughs> and then you got in and you were like, I can do this. <laughs> I guess your most challenging voice acting one. Aloise Trancy from Black Ooh, Butler. <laughs> nice. Because I am, I am generally a very bubbly, I'm cast in these things, and he is a very broken, <laughs> English, dangerous boy, you know? <laughs> but it's so good. Hot pants. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Not to, to copy, but Beast from, from my Black Butler days <laughs> was... Fun. I, I auditioned for her, and the director, Ian, was like, you can do that? And I was like, I, I guess I can. I guess I can do it. Um, so we kind of learned together on that one. So, yeah. Yeah, Black Butler. All right. Thank you so much. I yeah. love that our answer was Black Butler. <laughs> right? Have a good one. Thank you so much. Hello. Hi. Hi. My name's Sydney. Um, I just want to ask, if y'all are on The Bachelorette, the whole One Piece cast wanted a rose. Who would be y'all's final three? Ooh. Final three if we were on The Bachelor. Or The Bachelor. Okay. One Piece characters or One Piece like, cast? Like, like the like, boys? Like, like, like the men? Characters. Okay. Mm. I, mean, oh. <laughs> I mean, Luffy's not there. <laughs> Zoro, it's got to be Zoro, and I mean Buggy, of course. I'm the live-action Buggy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so attractive? It's so weird. Why did Buggy get so hot? <laughs> um, who do you think would be like with Sanji? Sanji? I already said Sanji's my guy. He would get my words. Okay, we'll we'll give Sanji, and I kind of have a thing for Ace. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. All right, that's our three. <laughs> I'm a big law girl. Personally. Oh, law, yes. yes. Law girl, law girl. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Hello. Hello. So my question was, was there any series? Is it okay if I move this up? Over totally. The spot? Okay. Um, was there? Uh, I, that's good. I, that's fine. <laughs> was there any role? or series that you uh, went into and you read the script or you did a reading for a line and then suddenly you had interest in that series. Even if it was a small role, but it was like, oh, this series is really interesting. Like it caught your interest more that Aww. you didn't know much about. Mm. Oh my gosh. Blood Blackade Battlefront? <laughs> <laughs> That's the name, right? <laughs> I was in that, and my character is really nuts, like very, very weird and very, very dangerous and very, very gory. And something about that. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I think I want to watch this. <laughs> Just um, this is so random, but you're Luigi right now. Yeah. We can see the glow of your green and then your mustache kind of just bouncing as you ask <laughs> it's, <true>. it's incredible. <laughs> I'm glad it worked. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I'm going to say mine is a, a show called Princess Tutu okay. that I love. I turned out to be a super fan of that show. <laughs> but my first session, um, I remember it. It's precious. She's a duck, a literal duck that turns into a little girl, that turns into a ballerina, heart healer, soft-spoken superhero. And I was hooked. Like, <laughs> I love that show. Oh. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a couple more left, I think. One, two, three. All right. Hi. You look so cute. Thank you. Yeah, it is. Um, I had a question. I know Carrick's not in the live action yet, but did you ever meet, like, the actress that did Nami for the live action, or were you involved with the live action at all? I have not been, although we all hold out hope of being, like, just in the background fun. somewhere. Oh, fun. I would love to just be somewhere and have Nami or something knock into me and for me to go, oh, what an idiot, like, or something, <laughs> you know? Um, um, I think that would be super fun. But, no, I have not met Emily yet. I look forward to meeting her sometime at this year. But I've met the um, I've met Jacob who plays Usopp and Jeff who plays Buggy and um, oh gosh what's his name he plays Helmeppo um, and they are delightful <laughs> absolutely sweet people super nice. Yay. Yeah. How do you feel nice. about Taz since you're a Sanji? Do you like Taz or Sanji? Do you think the live action? Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. <gasps> oh oh! Did you hear the collection? <laughs> I thought he was great. Yeah, I was like, you'll love Sanji. Oh, good. Life. I thought he was so good. Yeah, I was like, Nami, how are you not following Because he's such him? a Lothario. <laughs> like, it's delightful. Poor Eric. I have directed him several times, and I am such a, ugh, I am so, he's got the best voice ever. Yes. And it's very hard for me to direct him and not be like, do you know your voice is really hot? <laughs> it's re I'm not hitting on you, but your voice is, like, really hot. Um. <laughs> It's that a problem. <laughs> and we all know each other, so it's, yeah. It's been better. <laughs> Thank you so much. Speaking of that, I just have to say, speaking of yummy voices, um, the other day I was recording on One Piece, and we finished, like, I, you know, you're watching, and your cue is, it goes beep, 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 and then that's when you start your line. And Robin's line was before mine, and there's my beeps. And then I hear Stephanie Young whisper in my ear, I love you, Lucy. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> what? Because she's also a jazz singer. Like, she's legit. Awesome. One thing that's wonderful about One Piece in general is that for something to be so silly and caricature-like, but to have these real moments settled in the middle, oh my gosh, it's tremendous. Um, I'm working on my own animation right now, and it's like, I don't know. Th those are that's the type of beauty that you want to capture as a creator is something that is visually engaging, and that's why it's an animation, but also very real and grounded in honesty. That's not what you asked, but it's it's a special interest of mine, yeah. and <laughs> and so yeah, just in general, the overall designs are wonderful. I think it's super fun to look at where the show started and where it has come. Um, and especially just because my kids and I just finished the Alabasta arc, um, you know, and, and looking back and remembering, like, I loved Nami's uh, clothes in the Alabasta arc. I love them all. Um, and just starting to remember, like, how the show changes and how each movie has such a different, uh, like, the animation has progressively gotten more and more sharp and great and cool while retaining sort of the, the style of Oda, the elongated bodies and all this stuff. It's super rad. So by the time you get to Wano, everybody was blown away by just the look of it. We were blown away being a part of the show, just going, look how, look how this beautiful show is being treated. Oh, look at this gorgeous thing they've made for us. And now Warner Brothers is also contributing art. Oh, my gosh. Like, crazy. Isn't it awesome? It's kind of retro looking and Ooh. it's so good. I love Zoro's outfit. Ah, it's so great. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> you look awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Cecilia. Hi. Um, what is 
this can be for either of you. What is a few voice lines that you almost could not get yourself to say out loud because you maybe thought it was really silly and you couldn't stop laughing or you kept being interrupted by other people laughing? Oh, laughing. Okay. There's so many. So many creepy things. I have a favorite. I'll let Tia think. Okay. I have a, a recent favorite in one piece. Um, not going to give anything away, but Nami ends up getting a sidekick of sorts. And there is a real crazy ex-girlfriend moment with them that was awesome to record. That is very like, you're mine and I am never going to let you go. <laughs> With this crazy, kooky, psycho laugh, and it just the, and the animation is funky and fun. And anyway, oh, I love we that. laughed and laughed and laughed. We also did a um, same arc in Wano at one point because uh, it's me and Usopp fighting Ulti, and Usopp is trying to throw his voice. He's like, "Oh, I'm Nami," and she's like, "Stop using my voice, you idiot!" You know why? And later on in the show, there's an opportunity for her to be Usopp. And our director, Emily, was like, can you do Usopp's voice? And I was like, hmm, I don't know if I can do Usopp's voice. <laughs> so I did it, and then I got a text from Sonny one day when he was recording going, I am literally dying right now, listening to what you did. I don't, I don't have anything to contribute to that. I think that was just a lovely story. <laughs> So much fun. When we can crack each other up, it is the very best. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, looks like we have one last, yeah, one last question here. Hello, my name is Kalia, and I was wondering, what was the most heartwarming scene you had to do and the most heartbreaking scene you had to do? Heartwarming oh, and heartbreaking without being spoilery. Um, okay, so heartbreaking is probably our long in the street. Um, probably that one is, is the, definitely the biggest. But heartwarming, <clears throat> again, recently, um, they all have opportunity to be like, we're not going to make it. Luffy's not going to make it. We're all crazy. He's nuts. Why are we following this rubber man? And um, <laughs> Nami has a moment to be like, yeah, I don't believe it. You, I think most of you know what I'm talking about, or some of you who are there. And even other people are like, just say it. Just lie. Just say it. It doesn't matter. And she doesn't. Because in the, her heart of hearts, she believes. And it is an awesome moment. It is so good. Yay, Wano. That's the best That's art. So That's why it's the best art. I think for me, um, as far as One Piece with Carrot, I won't spoil it, but Pedro's ah. whole situation where she loses herself and finds herself and redefines herself all in one fell swoop, all in one big moment. Um, that was very magical to be a part of that. So yeah, that's mine. So that is going to be our time. Uh, thank you all for hanging out. Any last words for our great folks here in Columbus? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for having us. It's been incredible. I've uh, gotten to walk around outside in between things, and your, your home is so lovely. <laughs> it's lovely, and your That's weather great. is so great this weekend. Oh my gosh. We are from yes. Texas. I am from Texas. Tia's in L.A. right now. Um, it is very hot at home. <laughs> so it's been awesome here. Thank you for your kindness. Um, especially thank you for enjoying the show that we get to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you for the conversation. It's so fun. We love you. And before we go, we're gonna do a stage selfie here. So if you guys would like to come up. Stage selfie. Love.